Nearly 200 years ago, our founders built an institution that brought world culture and history to a diverse population of immigrants with the hope of creating better neighbors, a better city, and a better country. Founded in 1823, the Brooklyn Apprentices Library had the mission of providing educational materials to all people for free. And that morphed into the Brooklyn Institute of Arts and Sciences. When Brooklyn was a city in its own right, they decided that we needed a museum worthy of Brooklyn's wealth, her position, her culture, and her people. They wanted it to be one of the great museums to rival those of Europe. My name is Molly Seegers, and I'm the archivist of the Brooklyn Museum. I love working in the archives of the museum because I get to work with researchers to help them explore our institution's history, learn about the people who worked here and the decisions that they made, and also get to see how uh, what we've done in the past affects what we're doing today. From the beginning, Brooklyn Museum has simultaneously had a contemporary and worldly scope of art that we collect and exhibit. We supported American artists as they were creating their art. In 1926, we showed the International Exhibition of Modern Art before MoMA was even founded. Then we, beginning in 1900, expanded our collecting scope worldwide. We proactively created an Asian art collection and collecting many African works and displaying them in 1923 as art, not artifacts. Beginning in the 20th century, our departments have defined what museums need to be doing. Our conservation department was the first scientific conservation department to be in a museum. For 30 years, the Brooklyn Museum has crusaded for care. Our education division has always been central to the work of the museum. It's a continuation of our founding mission. For well over a century, timely and forward-thinking performances, concerts, lectures, discussions, demonstrations, and classes have brought the public through our doors. Our local community has contributed not only to moving us forward, as in the case of the opening of the Community Gallery in 1968, but also forging generative partnerships. We have strived to continuously grow to be more accessible and inclusive, and as diverse as the community we serve. Speaking out, showing daring art, and having courageous conversations isn't new to the Brooklyn Museum. We've been doing this for nearly 200 years.